can tell you that we've also looked at evidence about uh, cadaver dogs and they're incredibly unreliable. Unreliable? Cadaver dogs, yes. That's what the evidence shows if they're tested scientifically. All three of our dogs did the exact thing. I mean, within like a three-foot circle, they all said, yes, right here, right here. All three of them were so precise in it. So it was very, we all felt very reassured because our dogs, three dogs saying, it's here. The police brought in their backhoe and started digging where the dogs told them to. The technique we like to do, they dig a layer off, we take the dogs back, and the dogs give us direction, you know, to the right, to the left. The dig went on for hours. Then at five feet down, something finally happened. The bobcat driver stops the vehicle. He jumps out, and he says, something really smells bad. So they go and investigate, and there's piles and piles, bags and bags of meat, big roasts and hunks of meat, and it smelled bad. And the flies instantly hit it. We removed the meat, we showed the dogs the meat, and they went, yeah, and then they went right back to work. And they went back right on that dam and started to, you know, put the noses down and, and saying, dig deeper. Six feet down. Seven. Eight. When we got to about nine feet under, the dogs began to go crazy. They'd found something. And at that point, they started doing careful digging with the shovels and got down to a rolled up carpeting. Buried where no one but a dog could have known was Henry Olson. When the crime scene people measured it, when they said 10 feet, we thought, boy, I don't know anybody who's found a body that deep. And we thought, you know, there's no reason in the world why this investigation would have looked at this dam, let alone taken all day long to tear apart the dam. So I think this to us was like, yes, our value of our dogs really shown today because this was a dog find.